Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to write a function that will plot the origin and the axis on your 3D plots automatically. So this uh, small video is different from the other tutorials that I'm doing and this is because for the tutorials I have planned to do I'm going to need to see where the origin is located at. Since I'm going to do that a lot of times I thought that it would be a good idea to just write a function of it to reuse it every time I need it and make a video out of it so I don't have to go over that every single video and waste your time and my time. So I'm going to teach you how to write this. So in one line you can have the origin. Here you can see the, the, the cone from one of the old tutorials. Here the origin is located at 0, 0, 0. So you can see that it's in the center of the cone. The arguments are going to be the range for the x-axis, the range for the y-axis, the range for the z-axis, and then an offset for the origin. So right now it's at 0, 0, 0, but what happens if I want for example, the origin to be located at the base of the cone, then that would mean that the z-direction, which in this case is the horizontal, I would have to shift it negative two units down. So I would change here negative two. Here you can see how my origin now has shifted to, to the bottom of the cone. Now, this has no other purpose than visual purposes, so just keep that in mind. Okay, so in order to uh, write a function, the first thing you have to write is function and then nth at the end, so that will close the function. Now here usually you will have an output that is inside these brackets and that's going to be equal to the name of your function, in case I'm going to call it plot origin and in parentheses here are going to be the arguments that they are going to take. So as I said before it's going to be the range of x, the range of y and the range of c. And then it's going to take an offset value that is going to be a vector of three points, one for x, one for y, and one for c. Now first I want to separate this offset vector into the three components. So I'm going to call the x a zero, which is going to be the x origin. It's going to be to offset one, which is going to be the first element of this vector. And then I just copy this, paste it three more times. One is going to be for y, the other one is going to be for c y is going to be the second element and c is going to be the third element. And next we can start plotting the axis and the way that we're going to do this is that we're going to plot a line in a 3D plot. So to plot a line we need minimum two points. So we're going to need uh, one point with x, y and c coordinates and another point with x, y and c coordinates. So I'm going to start writing plot 3 and for the x, the x values uh, I'm going to have the range of x which is specified as an argument input for this function and then this is going to be added the offset then are going to be the y values and the z values now if the origin was at zero the y and c values would both be equal to zero but since we're also including uh, the ability to be able to offset that origin then you will not be zero but it would be y zero and y zero and c zero c zero we can specify uh, the type of line and the color of the line that we want. In my case I want dashed lines and I want red. Now why red? Because I need to remember which axis is the x and which one is the y and which one is the c. If they are all black then I won't be able to differentiate th between them. So the x is going to be red, y is going to be green, z is going to be blue. So that way you have like the color indices RGB more or less match x, y and c. I don't know I thought it was easy to remember that way so I'm going to do that that way. So just remember that this is for x. Now I'm going to set the axis equal and hold on. Now I'm going to copy this again and change the necessary values to make uh, the c, the y-axis. So range and then we're going to do the same thing for c. Okay so once you're done you should end up with something like this. So you're going to have here the x, y and z values for the offset. So that would be the location of the origin with respect to the origin at 0, 0, 0. Then you'll plot the x-axis, the y-axis and the c-axis. Now one last thing. I want to make sure that the person who's going to use uh, this function, in this case you, is not going to choose a location for, it, for the origin that is outside the ranges specified here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is add, um, you can call it a constraint. So the way I'm going to do this is by creating an if statement that is going to say that if x0 is less than the minimum range of x or, copy this, 
the x coordinate of the origin is more than the maximum, then you can, I don't know, print some message saying that something happened. So f print, maybe, I don't know, origin is not within x axis range. Okay, so now we have to do the same thing for y and z. So else if. Here, y, 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 and y, and you just plot the same thing. Okay, so we, at the end, you should have something like this. Okay, so you're basically done. Now, just before saving this, you can remove this because we're not going to have an output, or the output is going to be uh, the plot, and that's going to be done. We're telling the function to do the plot, so we don't need an output here, so we can delete that, and you save it. So you save this, with the same name, exact same name as you have here. I have or I have it already saved here on a MATLAB script, not a MATLAB live script, just a MATLAB script. And it's the same thing. I just find it this to be a little bit faster. So let's let's test test it out. Here I have the code that we wrote for the cylinder a while back. And let's see, let's see plot origin is going to be uh, so let's see the x-axis okay so the length is 4 the maximum so let's say it's going to go from negative 5 to 5 well, all of them are going to go from negative 5 to 5 and then the origin I want it to be located at 0 0 and 0 okay, let's run this right so here you can see that the origin at 0 0 0 is located at the left face of the cylinder which I remember we did that on purpose on the video, but let's say we want the origin to be located at the center of the cylinder. So the red axis is the x-axis, so that means that we have to shift the x-axis half the length of the cylinder towards the right. So what's the length of the cylinder? 4.5. So it's going to be here. It's going to be 4.5 over 2. Seems to be working. Yeah, hopefully this video was helpful to you. I know that it's just a gimmick to have it on, on the plots, but uh, when you're working with uh, other type of geometry, it's useful to have a uh, reference for the origin because MATLAB, for some reason, the axes are located at the extremes of the object and not at the center. It's, it's kind of weird, I don't really understand it. I have tutorials on how to write several geometries on the description of the video. I'm going to leave the link for those playlists. And I also have a playlist on how to ex export this same 3D geometry, such as a cylinder, a cone, etc., as an STL or PLY file for 3D printing, CFD, etc. So make sure to check them out if you are interested.